Okay, so guys, I am going to teach you on how to draw a lorikeet. Those are small rainbow birds. So, I'm off the camera anytime. Okay, so, okay, so first we will do a circle. That's good. Like this. And then, and then, wait, hold on, I need to do this. And then, so, and then you draw another circle, which should be a little bigger. Um, okay, and now, and now it should look like this. Um, um. Okay, and then you draw two lines. And then, and then, and then, as a guide, you use these two lines. Um, and then you put a really, and then you put a really down, like. Semicircle like this, and it should look like this. Oh, like this. Okay. Next, you draw a tail. First, it should be curved. And then. I don't know how I did that. Okay, so. um. Then you draw its eye, um, and then and then you draw the eye that looks like this. Then you draw furs around it, and now you can add the beak. So first you put a curved line like this. And then you do this, and your beak. I know it's a little hard at first, so then you do this, and, and hold on. And then you do this, and, and for the beak, you erase the excess parts. So now it should look like this. <coughs> look like this. So now you draw the wing. Okay, and then you make it swing like this. And now you can like add these lines to make it look like it's the better on its way. Then you draw its claws. Well, I'm doing one claw, and then it should look like this. Um, and then you. Now I'm going to draw the other claw, and then now you can complete the claws by making it look like this. And now add um like hold on now and and, and they erase this part if it's sticking down. Do like this, and then now mm -hmm. you draw the perch like this. And, 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 and first, wait, and, and then you erase all the excess parts that you did. And 
then you erase like this part, kind of. <clears throat> okay, now I need the crown, so when I snap, it will come. Okay, so I'm going to snap in three, two. Okay, so I'm going to snap in three, two, one. I saw your hands. Okay. Um, now... And now we can color it a lurkey. I need to bring it down. Um, and then, and then you make it like this. And then you color this part blue for the lorikeet's head. Actually, birds can see wild colors. Like, for black and white, they see rainbow like them. So for our eyes, they may see our eyes completely rainbow, which is too scary. I'm gonna have to do this. And, and, and remember, if you don't shade your drawing, it, it, it won't look real. And, and it'll just like look like that there are scribbles and coloring on your drawing. Well, there's coloring on this drawing too, but I'm shading it, so there's no big deal. Okay, and you color it like this. And if you need some lines to show... Use your pencil again and make it a little darker. Okay. Now I will color the Laura Keats eyes orange. Okay. Now I need some red and orange and and yellow. Okay, I need. I mean, wait. I think this is orange. This is red orange. Okay, now this is orange. I need these three colors. So first I should start with the wait. Mm -hmm. uh, oh no, wait, this is violet. Okay. Is this red? Oh yes, it's red, is it? Okay. Now I have to color this part red and color the under of it to be red too. Then I shade it with orange coming up next. And then a little pinch of yellow at the very end. You can add some red to make it look like that the beak is shaded. And then you do this. And now you use the wing. And then you make the tail sharp. For a photo ring, a photo wing, you don't really need to shade all around, but uh, the shading part should be like dark and 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 like light. That's him. Okay. And then I do. And then I draw red right here, red, well it is, a, it is hard to erase crayons because of that stuff on it when, when you erase it, but I don't, I don't care about that, I'm just going to keep coloring. Then I add orange right here <coughs> on my lower key. Then I add the yellow. Then for this part you use blue. Mm -mm, I use your pencil again and if you have a gray pen you can use that too. And then you color the claws gray with scales on it. Okay, then you can like 
if you have a brown, like, the, this brown is really big, so it's going to be hard, like, always. Like, and actually, this brown is really good for the branch because it's shaded. And, 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 and you don't, like, have to press hard and go light again. You, you, like, you just do it. Okay. Now I will add these here for the leaves. Okay. Then, okay, I need to put these back. And then I need this metallic green. And I think it's this way. Yes, it is. So now, if you started watching this video, then then maybe some of you paused the video and drew under at your own pace, and that's okay. So now, your drawing should look like this at the end with a beautiful bright colored lorikeet. So, um, so that is how to draw a lorikeet. So, so if you like this video, please put a, put a like and comment for this video and even subscribe to our new channel because this is our first time making on YouTube videos. So bye.